So following the typical routine that we have these days, I woke up before everybody else and went to the grocery store in the morning like a real person. And now I am back and I did some work and I made myself some delicious food and now I'm gonna read because Andrew is moving out of Toronto for the foreseeable future yesterday when we were at his party he had this area off to the side with a bunch of his belongings that he wanted to give away to his friends um, because he couldn't take them with and he wanted to make sure that he checked with his friends before he gave it away to Valley Village or something. So I got a bunch of books. The, this one, which I've heard is all the rage these days. And then I got two of the Hunger Games books because I already have the first one. And I have already read the Hunger Games books, but I wanted to own them because when I saw them I just remembered how annoyed I was reading that series and how much I just wanted to like tell everybody about how much I hated this character and why did they do this and blah 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 blah. And so I've been thinking about maybe doing like a book review for my channel or like a Rihanna reads brr, 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 because I just enjoy being cynical and making fun of people who don't exist. So I got these three books and I'm gonna look through the Divergent one and see if it's any good or any bad. And if it catches my fancy, then maybe I'll uh, do a book review about it or something. People watch book reviews, right? I can remember back in the day, uh, Alex Day did uh, a really popular series called Alex Reads Twilight, which is easy because Twilight is really easy to make fun of. But I feel like I could do that too, maybe? I don't know. On a more serious note, I have been reading a book for my education. It is called The Foundations of Screenwriting. And you've probably read this book if you studied screenplays or writing or something. It's really famous and uh, it's like the the manual on screenwriting. And I've been reading it because we need new writers and I never really thought of myself as a writer. But you know, I've been learning new and exciting things all through this job and I figured I'll, I'll just give it a shot. You know, there's nothing wrong with just educating yourself even if you are not skilled in said thing. I have been learning a lot about um, like the styles and like the rules of screenwriting like there's very specific rules to it and it kind of defines all of those things that make a movie interesting and worth watching like we like everyone as an audience kind of knows when a movie is entertaining like within the first 10 minutes you can tell if a movie is going to be entertaining or not and we all kind of have these rules in our heads that make us want to watch the movie and we don't like recognize it or we just say like oh this was a good movie or this was a bad movie or I like this character but there are specific rules and when you line them up you realize that you already knew them but that it was just never defined for you and I find it really interesting and I'm learning a lot and I'm kind of like compiling a list of movies that this guy is talking about Sid Field that I've never seen that are apparently like really really good screenplays and good movies and now I just want to watch all of them. I'm gonna keep at it and uh, maybe in the future we might be working on projects where I help write with Joel and Corey and that's that's cool I guess. Or I could just read it and still be bad at writing and not, not help at all but I still find it really interesting and I like reading about this type of stuff. I, it's been a long time since I like tried to educate myself for something that I never thought I would do. We did it! Saskia and I beat Bioshock Infinite. Woo! And we got it all on recording. Woo! Yeah. Turns out there's uh, 42 episodes in total. Oh dear goodness me. Which is cool. That's I a lot. It, I th you know, it's it's a bunch, but... The ending is super cool. The ending cool. is super cool. Ending is super cool. We just talked about the game for like hours after we beat it. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we couldn't stop talking about it. Yeah. This morning I basically edited all of them. So now there's, there's 42 ready to go. We were on 28. So now I have to upload... What is that? 10... 14. Sure. Have to upload 14. Yeah. So it's cool. So it'll be good for the next three weeks. That's good. Yeah, so for the next three weeks, we're good to go. Now I have to start another game or two yeah. games at the you same time, do perhaps. Something else. Yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for games, you can leave them in the comments below. That would be great. Look, I even have my morning raspy voice. You do have your uh, morning raspy voice. I, I haven't know. talked at all today yet. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay.
Okay. What, you're doing dub stepping? I should probably shower. <laughs> okay. Well, hello, pink room. That's what happens when the sun shines on your thingy, your cover thing, my bob. As you can see, the headboard's still up, so that's good. Uh, we are still away from the wall, but I think that's just laziness and not so much afraidness. And remember how I spent so much time watching Buffy and didn't do anything else and I swore I wasn't gonna do that again? Yeah, about that. I know a lot of people have been recommending Angel to me, and I will watch that at some point in time. But I was looking on Netflix and I realized that they have Stargate SG-1 on Netflix, and I used to watch the show in high school, like, all the time, and actually watch. Not just, like, I saw two random episodes like Buffy, but I'm pretty sure I watched the first season. And there's ten seasons on Netflix, so I am about halfway through the first season already. I have also watched Stargate Atlantis, but I did not like it as much as SG-1. I have no idea why. I think I just really like the characters in SG-1, but I'm like having this weird nostalgia thing happening to me while I watch the show as well as just really enjoying the show. I used to actually watch it at my then boyfriend's house and it's just really kind of weird because we would like sit in the basement and just watch the show and paint things because he's really heavy into art so I don't know so anyway I've really been enjoying this new show that I'm watching um, and I'm probably going to be wasting away my life watching SG-1 for the next 10 seasons and I just finished editing so that is exactly what I'm gonna go do now I'm gonna go watch SG-1 Bye. We are on our way to a party. Yep, yeah, it's a uh, it collaboration a of individuals. Party. It's a Kentucky party. Everybody at Kentucky is having a reunion. So we're gonna go hang out with a bunch of Kentucky people, which is super cool. We're driving. Corrado is cool enough to drive us there. Hey, hold the steering wheel while you drive, you silly person. in the bathroom because that's it's weird, weird and there's lots of people in there but it's huge like ridiculously it's huge it's an entire level yeah and like a every, level every of stall the whole place. is like boarded off and beautiful <laughs> there's like a lady serving candy and yep. lotion at she, the sinks she washed she basically washed my hands for me she like handed me soap and then turned on the tap and then handed me stuff and then handed me lotion yeah We've, this is the second time we've been up here, and the first time we came down and we told Corrado, and he was like, the men's bathroom was like a dive. Yeah. His yeah. The girls are treated very well here. Yeah. That's great. So we can't show the bathroom, but this is the entrance. <laughs> and there's like, there's a bunch of stalls over there, <gasps> and then there's stalls. There's a side. Yep. There's a hair straightening machine. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You pay a toonie and then you can straighten your hair. Yep. And there's like a there's like a hairdresser's chair beside it. Yeah. You can sit in. <laughs> Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A hey!